Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials. And this week I'll be showing you how to install the app icon in your projects. Now this is an updated tutorial from our previous one as our previous one is now void and now I'll be showing you in this one how to install the app icon for non-retina devices, retina devices and your iPad. So on a desktop here I have four icons, I'll just quickly show you them. We have the iTunes icon, the one that you upload when you're uploading your app to the iStore. This one will dis be displayed in iTunes. We have our non-retina icon, so this will be for your devices such as the iPod 2nd generation, 3rd generation and your iPhone 3G and 3GS. We have the icon. Here, this is for Retina devices such as your iPhone 4 or iPhone 4S. And we have the iPad icon. So all these icons here will be installing into our project now. So I have my project here. The simple single view application and name the icons for the purpose of this tutorial. And if you click on the app name, so you have all our classes here. If you click on the app name at the top here, this will bring up our summary. Now in devices here I've selected universal so I'm able to install the iPad icon and show you how to do it. So if you just scroll down here underneath the orientations we have app icons. So the first one here is the non-retina icon and if you highlight the mouse over it here it tells you what size it needs to be. So it's 57 by 57 pixels in size. So if we right click it and select file, and then just on the desktop here, we look for it, it's, and it should be named icon with a capital I, icon.png. And we choose that, and now it's, if you notice, it's been imported into our project, and it's now being displayed as our icon. And the same goes for our retina display icon here. And this one should be 114 pixels by 114 pixels. So again we do that, select size. And this one should be named icon, same as the first one, but this time we have the at symbol and times two. As it's double the size of our first icon. So if we just select that and into our project, again that imports in and now is in our retina display section here. It's kind of hard to see, but to the good eye, you can see it's a little bit better quality than our original one. So now we have our icons installed now. We have our non-retina for non-retina devices and our retina for retina devices. So if we scroll down a bit further, when we get to our iPod deployment information and underneath the orientations for our iPod, the iPod has its own image here. So again, we hover our mouse over it. Doesn't look like the information is gonna pop, pop up. But anyway, if I, um, the file we need to select here now is icon-72. Now the size of our iPad icon is 72 pixels by 72 pixels. This is kind of in between our non-retina and retina icon for the iPad. So if you just select that now, now that's imported into our project. We have our three icons all imported here and our, in our project here. Now we don't need to import the iTunes artwork at all. This is just needed for when you upload your app to the App Store and the size of this is 512 pixels by 512. So we don't need that only when you upload your app to the App Store. So then, so if we build our app now in the simulator and then we hit the home button, now we should be able to see our icon on our home page. So once it's loaded, we just press our home button and now our app is displayed on our home page and you can see here it has gloss. Now I'll show you how to take that off in a second, but first I'll quickly build on the iPad. And then once I've shown you on the iPad here, then I'll show you how to take off the gloss of the icon. So there we go, build it again. I have two simulators running at the same time, so let's try that once more. Here we go. So I press the home button and then on the home of the iPad here we have our icon and again it still has the glass but I'll show you how to take it off now. So just exit the iPhone simulator so we don't get that message pop up again. So what we need to do 
is into our supporting files and into our P list. So what we need to do, if we just drop down the menu here and icon files, it will show you the three icons we've installed. And if you click on the second one here, icon files, and then primary icon, it will say icon already includes gloss effect. And it's, now it's currently on no, which is displaying our gloss effect. So you press yes there. If you haven't got that line there, up there, so you just press on your bottom line and press plus and then just find, look for it by searching down, which is there. So that, that's a way you can, if you haven't got that line, to just create it yourself, basically. So now once we've got the yes on our icon already includes the gloss effect, this will make your project not put the gloss on thinking that it already contains it. So if we save that and then go to build, So once it's loaded, we press the home button and now our icon has removed its gloss and now it's just a flat image, so there's no gloss in there, so it's kind of got this gloss effect, so that's simply how you remove the gloss and I'll quickly show you on the iPad. So the iPad simulator is loaded, press the home button and now that has removed its gloss as well. So that's simply how you install app icons for both iPad and iPhone, Retina and non-Retina, and how to remove the gloss. So I hope this helps from our previous version of our app icons tutorial. Make sure you like this video, favourite the video, leave us a comment or send us a message if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself, or if you just want us to leave us any feedback on how we can improve our tutorials. But make sure you check out the app store with our, all of our apps which are there. All the links will be in the description below, as well as links to our Facebook and Twitter. Make sure you like us and follow us. But most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you all next week in our next tutorial. Hey guys, Aaron here. Please support us by liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter, and checking out all our apps by simply searching Geek11 on the App Store. And make sure you visit our website, where we have a full list and full source code for all our tutorials and visit our blog, forums and all the other great features we have to offer on our website.